So this is a tutorial for the trick I uploaded last week and it involves a very simple principle of a key card being the bottom card. Now if you have a spectator you can hand them the cards and they can shuffle and then ask for them back and when you get them back just remember the bottom card, just peek it um, subtly and in this case we've got the five of spades. Now you can say actually and give the cards back to them say this is to be done in your hands and they can cut the deck, so instruct them to cut the deck, take the card they've cut to and have a look at it. So in this case we've got the seven of spades, put it back in the middle and then this puts your key card on top of their card. Now, you don't need to know their card, so they can keep that to themselves, but as long as you know the key card, you'll always find their card. So when you take the cards back, if you spread them out, it will be the card on the right-hand side. So you've got your five of spades there, which is your key card, and then you'll automatically know their card, so in this case, the seven of spades. And then you can reveal that however you like. You could do a mind-reading effect, like where you try and read their mind and just ask them questions about if the card's red and black, and go through it and narrow it down until you end up on one card. You could control their card, to the bottom of the deck and do what I did where it jumps out of the deck and that's just simple. You just push it off and then flick up with your wrist and your thumb and, and, it, ooh, and it spins like this and then you've got to catch it and then you can reveal it to them that way. You can look through the deck, eyeball their card and then write down a prediction. Have them say their card and then you can reveal that prediction to them being their card. You can do a lot of things with this and key cards are a very useful trick to have in your arsenal as a mag magician because you can do amazing things with it. And the way I did it in the performance, I riffled off half the deck and I just peeked the packet, left hand packet's bottom card, the king of hearts in this case, riffle that down first and then continue the shuffle. And then that's another way of doing it because it maintains your bottom card and then you can go into the effect where I, what I did when I dribbled the cards, had them select a card, we look at it here, put the eight of hearts, and then uh, dribble the cards down again, put their card back on the other packet this time and then put your key card on top of their card. And then spread through, pick their card, so we've got the eight of hearts, but obviously you'd remember the card before the king of hearts, so that's your key card. And then what I did was I just spread through and tried to keep a break, sped back to it and then cut it to the bottom of the deck. So I had it ready to kick out and catch. Now there's a lot of ways you can do this, but that's just a few of my favorite ways I think. Um, if I haven't covered enough and you want to learn more about the key cards and what other effects you can do, leave it in the comments and I'll try and think of some more and I'll upload them next week. Cheers.